so tonight we're back in the Shearwater colony. Uh, the aim of tonight's visit is primarily to put on data loggers on, uh, on these birds. These, uh, these data loggers will tell us where these birds are feeding, where these birds, these birds spend the day uh, when they're out at sea. The crucial part of this is they will tell us where these uh, areas, where these feeding areas are, and this will help us in the identification of these important sites uh, in, in the open water. So um, we'll be compiling data, compiling information for eventually the designation of marine SPAs, marine IDAs uh, for these birds. Um, tonight hopefully we'll put a number of these tags and then it's a matter of returning uh, each night till we get all the, the tags back. So now will go and start um, putting some tags on these birds. So it's the 28th of May and we've just abseiled down the cliffs uh, this evening just after dark um, to try and catch some of the elk and shoes tonight. What we want to do is try and fit them with electronic tags um, and we've fitted two birds already this year and they've gone out, out to sea a long way, over two kilometres offshore and spent from two days to five days fishing. Uh, so we want to find out what some of the other birds uh, on this ledge are doing. We've got their burrows deep in the cliffs. Um, so we'll be, we'll be expecting the birds any time now, as soon as, the, uh, as soon as the last rays of light disappear. So this is what we're, we're fitting the birds with. Basically, we have to be very careful not to cover this antennae because that's going to be sending the signals from the tag up to the satellites to get a GPS positioning fix. It's basically a circuit board with all of this electronic wizardry and on-off switch and we've encased it in plastic and um, that's been very successful for the first two tags. So this is what we'll be fitting to the birds. They're very lightweight, just 12 grams, um, so they, they fit our birds perfectly. And we'll just have a quick look at the, some of the nests here. Yeah. This is our nest site here, one of our main study ledges. Here you can see one of the uh, rat eradication boxes, a bait station. And this is a nest site here. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see the chick at the back. These nests are very deep. This site. Just tucked around the corner here. Another one back there. And there's another one at the end there. So, this is the GPS logger on the back of bird 1105. 1105 is the bird that had a data logger on him last year and came back. So, it'll be particularly interesting to see where this bird goes this time. As you can see, it's a very stream streamlined design, really flat on the bird's back it's very tight and uh, it's very light as well so it's under 5% of his body weight actually about 3% so obviously he wants to go and feed his chick now so we'll put him back in his hole okay. so this is just attaching the logger to one of the birds that we've caught this evening just attach it using strips of tape under the feathers. We keep the bird's head covered because it just minimises the stress to the bird. Once all the tape's on, we just put a final strip on the top with some super glue just to make sure it all stays in place. And you can see that the antennae is uncovered there, so that's going to be able to transmit to the satellite to get the GPS position. It's a pretty quick procedure, it only takes about five minutes in total. And the bird can go into the burrow and feed its chick. And that's the fifth one for tonight.
off he goes. So when are you expecting these birds to come back? Well at this time of year the birds are trying to feed their chicks as often as possible. So what you're getting is one pair, one of the pair coming in, feeding the chick, going back out, and then the next day or the day after the other of the pair is coming in. So they're basically spending about going out for maybe two to three days um, each bird. But we've had one bird staying out for five days, so it's quite variable. Okay, and uh, so how's the recatching going to happen? Um, well, basically from here on in, we're going to, well actually for Wally here, is going to have to come down to the cliffs and uh, spend every night sitting down here um, from dark until dawn, trying to catch all those birds because we've got five tags out there now. Okay. Um, and once all those five tags are caught, then Ollie can have a bit of a rest. <laughs> right, well let's keep our fingers crossed for, uh, for these five birds that we've done tonight. Hopefully we'll be catching them in the next few days. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs>